right, good morning. Um, just, it's, <laughs> it's been a long day so far. Um, but yeah, thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm in Scotland, as I said in my last vlog, I'm gonna record today, because there's a couple of places I've never been. Uh, I'm just coming, coming off the motorway now in Cumbernauld. So this is the furthest north I've been ever, really. I was gonna say in a truck, but it's the furthest I've ever been. I need to yeah, keep it into this lane here. Um, yeah, we're going to um, Malcolm's. You've probably seen the truck. Malcolm's Logistics. But yeah, we're delivering um, a full load, 26 pallets of uh, Smirnoff vodka, red label, if you know it. It's a standard vodka, really. Um, that big duck. Yeah, I've just come off the motorway then, the M9, I think it was. It was just two huge horses' heads. 904. Yeah, I'm going to get into this middle lane because both these, no one's there. Um, both lanes go around. So, yeah, um, just two a massive, huge horses' heads. Like sculptures, like as big as those trees. <laughs> it took me by surprise, didn't it? To come, around, to come over the crest near the motorway. So, it's. 904 I'm going on. Still going around. Still going around. It is just over this side of the under this bridge. Yeah, everyone's in that line because that goes straight on. I'm turning left anyway, so it's all good. Yeah, I've already had a, a 45 minute break on the way up here. Because um, I wasn't going to make it in four and a half hours. So it's going to be a bit tight on the driving time. Right, so looking on the map, well, the good, the good thing about this postcode is it just covers one building. If you look on Google Maps, the postcode is just this Malcolm's building, so there's no confusing it. WH Malcolm Warehousing and Distribution. So, pretty sure this is it. Malcolm, yeah. I'm going to speak to the where. Uh, I'm going to speak to the gate house and see what they're saying. So yeah, the gate house just said wait over here. Um, I'm going to back up, back up here. Someone's going to come over and tell me where I'm going. Um, so there's no bays at all, so it'll be a side load. So I'm just going to undo my curtains and we'll, uh, we'll wait for further instruction. Right, so very quick. Well, what is a very quick? <laughs> they, they tipped that truck and then they went for dinner. But when they come back, they were very quick. So I'm just going to go over to this little hut. And I'm assuming that's where I get my paperwork from. That's where the other truck drivers pulled up to the side here. I'll go and speak to someone. Hopefully we've got a little toilet here to use.
Right, so paperwork is signed, sealed and delivered. And we are out of here. Yes, yeah, so this is the warehouse in. I think there's another warehouse behind that for Malcolm's distribution. It's in a lot of uh, distribution trucks going up, up and down. Well, I said distribution, like trucks like this. But Malcolm. So, um, yeah, this isn't really the interesting part I wanted to record. The interesting part is the next one. Um, so, we're going down to Lockerbie. Um, so, that's 87 miles south. down to Lockerbie um, to the timber yard to pick up some timber, believe it or not. Looks like we need to cross this fuel carriage way. Ooh, a bit of traffic there. Well, it's not so much a dual carriage way, it's just a single carriage way. Thank you very much. I'll pass it on. Um, so yeah, we're going over to Lockerbie Timber Yard. I've been there before. Like I said, I went there when I was being mentored. But when we got there, I think the timber, something's wrong with the timber, I think. I can't remember if it was the timber or the straps. Anyway, I've got straps on, on board, and if it's the exact same job, um, which it probably isn't, that was just a drop and swap, dropping the empty on the uh, on the yard, and then picking up a loaded trailer, so we just need to strap it, ratchet it down, and then we can take that away. Worst case scenario, I just have to wait to be loaded, but it's what it is. <sighs> But yeah, the day has been very long so far. I started, I wanted to get in early, so I got in about, about quarter to six. Money spot starts at six. But I thought if the truck's ready to go, I can get on the road. But I had to wait for the, guy, the night shift guy to unpack his stuff out of the truck. So, so I only left the depot at half six after doing all my checks. So yeah, like I said, the, for, the forestry um, timber yard. Oh, here's, here's the horses here, if you can see them. Left here. It's come around the corner before. It just don't know if it does any justice from that angle. The pylons aren't really adding to the artistic effect, I suppose. <laughs> but they are amazing. So yeah, I'll speak to you in an hour and a half when we get there. Right, so we're just off the uh, M6. I'm oh, still in Scotland. M74. A74M. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so we're just down here. Obviously, we're near the Limber? Timber Yard. So basically, head, this is heading back north on this A road. Or the B road. 0076. So yeah, I've already passed it. It's right next to the motorway. And you come off that junction, then you went back towards it. Still, actually, I'm still miles away. <laughs> Two miles. I'll uh, skip to it. Yeah, so we're 
just around the corner now you might be able to see the motorway just to the side of this verge don't know if you can you might be able to at that angle but yeah just to the side of this bush and a little, little verge that is the, uh, the M A A1M A74M yeah I'm going in where that truck is going in with the, uh, the logs it probably won't be like that it'll probably be sawn timber just be planks of wood so I have to drive through the, the timber yard so reception main office Weybridge HTV access first left at round boss your horses. Where am I actually going? That is something. Forest. Garden. Straight on. Yeah. That's a different company. James Jones. I'm going to Forest Garden. Or Forest Sawmills. where I'm going. I don't need to go on the Weybridge, I'm sure I don't, because I'm empty. And I'm just taking products, I'm not taking weight. Right, let me speak to the, uh, the gatehouse. Right, so, good news, first, um, is just drop and swap. So, very quick in and out. Bad news, getting in. It's going to be a while, apparently. Um, it's one in, one out situation. So, oh, this guy needs to go forward. So, yeah, bit of a a pain. Last day of the week, but she's going to give me a, a wave through once the other truck comes out. So I'm assuming it's. Another store bats go into a certain area which has the trailers, obviously. So it's only one in, one out. And the guy who's been in has been in half an hour, so maybe it's going to be a short while. Maybe not. We'll have to see. But I'll update you as soon as I have an update. Right, we're in. How's it done? bugs about today not just this place I mean in general seems to be hitting my windscreen right so we're going down here so the lady asked if I've been before and I said it was over a year ago so you need to refresh me and she was, she was just super quick in <laughs> telling me right here right there This is this is sort of like sawdust. It's gonna get loaded into this truck. It's a big bucket on that. Right. So there's a big rain cloud there, so I'm gonna get it sorted before that decides to open up on me. Right, the green bin, right down there. I've been told to turn right at the green bin. Smells fantastic, by the way. Used to work in a timber yard. When I left school. A long time ago. It's a green skip, but can I turn right? Yeah, pretty sure I can. Take it wide. Can I? 
Es ist gut mit Zeit. Na, no, we're fine. We're good. Good. Let's take that. <laughs> There's, there's a store back trailer down there, I can see it peeking out over the top of these. There is some forklifts knocking about as well, so I'm just going ultra slow. Okay, I'm just going to pop this in a space and then I've been told I have to keep the curtains open. I will pop it next to it. So yeah, just got to open these curtains up, obviously unhook it, connect to that one, and then I'll be uh, strapping it up. Right, so, we're all done, make sure, yeah, make sure my camera <laughs> is in. Right, we're done, all strapped, all secure, Whew. and it is now ten past four. So, let's try and make my way back to the, uh, the way bridge. Make sure I'm not obviously overweight. Get on the road. So it's been quite it's a bit of a short vlog. It will be a bit of a short vlog this one. Because like I say, most of my day has just been spent driving. It's not ideal for vlogging, doing long distance. There's this guy He's parked in the way here. So I'll the back of that. Jesus. Right. I'm going to get down here with this. It's one obstacle gone. <laughs> now there's this big crane coming down the road. Big swinging claw. So would you be interesting today? <laughs> that was a big massive pot all there. Wait for this thing to go. Yeah, it's just a huge, looks like a rock's been pulled out of it. It's just a huge pot all. I don't mess about with that. Yeah, it's all good. Lots of wasps as well, <laughs> uh, just hovering around this this trailer. When I was trying to strap it up, it was just everywhere, it was just like all over my hands, and the back of my neck. Thankfully, I didn't get sting stung. They're absolutely everywhere. Probably trapped about fifteen in the in the trailer. Here on the floor. I'm just going to move that out of the way. There's no point just driving around it. Yeah, 
that was heavier than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Looks small from up here. <sighs> It's this lane only. That is a complicated thing to drive a bit, especially with a trailer on. So why it's spinning round? That's crazy. Is he staying there? I'm gonna go around him. That is chance. Yowzers. So yeah, paperwork is in hand. We are gross weight 41 tonnes exactly. So a nice, it's a nice weight. Just need to slow down. I just want to confirm my departure, just in case planning needs to track me. Nothing going either way. I am hot. See, I was a bit daunted. I was a bit daunting going in there. Um, just because I remember when I was driving in there last time, obviously I was just fresh out of the academy. Um, even though I was with Marek, my uh, mentor, I was still a bit nervous <laughs> driving around those tight turns with the, uh, all the timber everywhere. Yeah, a little less daunting now. It's a nice little job to be fair, if you get it coming back down from Scotland not a bit hard work but we're on the road um, it's gonna be about quarter past seven as it stands getting back to base so six o'clock start quarter past seven maybe half seven back time to fuel up and unhook the trailer and things like that so 13 13 and a half hour shift That'll finish my week off. Um, obviously, still some rollies, so I'll be taking Jacob somewhere tomorrow. Probably Farmer Ted's. He, he loves it. He loves it there. <laughs> He's just right age right now, where he can go on any, everything he wants to go on in there. If you've never been, have a look. Um, if you're near the, in the area, it's near Armskirk. But yeah, I got a text message before, just give me a deal. 25 pound for one adult one child so that's all but pro yeah so we are definitely going there sorry yeah i did book it before <laughs> oh. right and we'll call it quits for there um thanks for watching thanks for subscribing if you have if you've not i'm not thanking you <laughs> until you subscribe uh, and we'll see you all on the next one see you later mm -hmm.